G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, goodies, beer reviews. And look what I've got today on this very chilly, well, it's chilly, not too chilly, Thursday. I, I changed the lights in the background too. I had a comment from our one of our beer reviewers. He, he's a lovely bloke. I watch him. I know he's up north somewhere. He does a lot of uh, mine work, I think, on the beer channel. And, oh, mate, I, I love the videos and him having to be with his dad and and um, it looked like blue police lights in the background, albeit white and blue, a bit more overseas, isn't it? White and blue. Here we've got red and blue. They used to be blue, didn't they? Remember the single blue light? Ambulance used to be red, and fire brigade was red. Then they mixed them for day and night. Anyway, who gives a shit? Look, Hollandia Premium. This is a big can. Five. 100 mil can. I could hardly fit it under the awning here. It's that big. 4.7. Uh, not much of a spiel, but I do remember drinking copious amounts of Hollandia when I was younger. 1.9 standard drinks because it's so big. Even if this was a low alcohol beer, it'd be two standard drinks that big. You will get pregnant laying down with the warning with a few of these under your belt. Premium 4. It hasn't got the white tag, uh, which I think it's the re-recipe here. It's not the one from overseas. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't really Google a lot of stuff before I talk. I just open my trap and spill it out. I'll get rid of this. We don't need our um, bottle opener here. Hollandia. Yeah. Shout out to Belly, Woodsy, Smitty, and everyone's got a Smitty in their life, eh? Like, in Australia, you've got to know a Smitty. <laughs> or two. And the Bok. Oh, good crack on the can. I really enjoyed that. Let's get this into the glass. I used to play back in the late 90s, 2000, around then, early 2000s, a lot of... Uh, I played a few games. We used to, like... That's a nice-looking beer, just interrupting the channel. I, I remember Woodsy Bok, Gumball R1... Woodsy Bok, Gumbler on me. And, um, yeah, old Smitty wasn't much of a gamer, not much of a nerd like us, which was cool, but that's all right. We all like different things. And, um, we, we used to get our computers and take them over to Gumball R One's house and have a LAN party. We had a couple there. And they got messy sometimes in the afternoon because someone would pull out a big, cheap bottle of shandy or port. We had people upstairs, downstairs, uh, Cat 4 cables at the time, I think they were. It's just everywhere, remember? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Good times. Good looking beer, actually. Even if it's not the OG recipe. Good looking beer. But the computers, yeah, we used to run them into a switch. And I remember one person on their computer, they'd have to... Remember they had all the files... Like you'd have one with all the files and the updates and all, because if you weren't on the same patch or the same version, you couldn't join the game. <laughs> oh, good times. Red Alert 2 or 3, Red Alert 3, RA3. Uh, Counter-Strike 1.6 or 1.4. There was a few good games. Day of Defeat was another one, but I was never real good at the strategy games, probably because I was half retarded. I was better at the first-person shooters like Quake. I used to blow everyone away on that anyways. Time to shine, Hollandia. Let's bring back some memories. Hopefully good ones. 4.7. That's not a bad uh, ABV. This is a, I suppose it's a lager, isn't it? Not a Pils. Hollandia's a lager. On the nose, it's very European. It's very grassy. When I say European, because a lot of those European beers, you, um, you just get that grass, I call it flowery smell. Yeah, very European-like. Smells a bit like the steelworks. <sighs> Shout out to Newey in Newtown, which I did the other night, which is a really surprising pale ale. That's got a pretty good mouthfeel. I do remember this beer. This in Holston and a few other European lagers, because they were always cheaper. 
than others. A 500ml can, nearly a couple of $2, like you know, nearly on the $2 mark for standard drinks. Yeah, it's nice. I picked this up from, it was a random pickup. Yeah, it's nice. So I changed the lights in the background to a more stable motion so they're not flashing. I thought if I hung these lights up a bit higher, and I, I, I took all the, because I've got OCD, I'd have to take, someone's laughing, bloody clubbers, mate. You've got to take all the white bulbs out and do blue and red. People will not slow down. Fuck, they fall out the street sometimes, I tell you. Idiots. It's good giving them a bootful here and there. I'm not, not saying that's bad, but, you know, do it where it's safe or not around people. And I shouldn't say that because they're actually on a private track. But you know what I mean. Don't be a dickhead with those other people are you? It's bad. We had a fatality in town here, not, it was the other about a week ago, uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, so you could only guess or, you know, assume what was the cause. Speed, booze, fatigue. Probably one of those three, wouldn't it? The only problem with small towns is like you you know a lot of the people. So when someone's dead or passed away in a fatality, it's like, oh, I knew that bloke or never a nice thing. You know. So I think that's my advice tonight. Just fucking be careful. You know? And even, like, if you get busted speeding or busted, like, drink driving or busted, what, fucking, your licence is screwed and you jump in a car to squalor you or whatever, like, you're going to get, it's pretty, all, all your bills go up, your green slips, your fucking, every, I swear on all the night, it's bad. Your green slip goes up, your, everything goes up, you know. Your red, not your rego, though, does it? No, just your pretty green slip and... Pink slips are bullshit here. They, they can be good, though. I don't know. They should extend. But I think it's three years you don't need a pink slip in New South Wales. Excellent lacing on the glass. It's got a very clean taste. There is nothing wrong at all with Hollandia. Premium. Not just Hollandia, but with a Primo. Which is the same thing. You just put premium in. Like, oh, people, I wonder if people actually drink this in our own country. Um, I've got to get over to Europe. I'd love to do a Europe trip. I think I'd just be drinking beer. Oh, you do some sightseeing during the days. And I think when I was over in Thailand, I, I did a lot of sightseeing during the days. And I think that's when I had a beer or two in the evening in my hotel room. And I was just... I was just gassed. I just needed to go to bed. And the heat, and which we, it's pretty warm here, like I mentioned the other night, but I don't know. Travel's pretty good. You've got to travel a bit in your life, for sure. It's a big world out there, the globe. Being stuck in the one place, my advice as I'm getting older is yeah, travel. Jump on a plane if you can and go somewhere. Yeah, you can go over to Thailand with um, airfares, depending on where you live. Like, because where I live, I've got to jump on a little plane to go to Sydney or up north, the Goldie or Brisbane. But you can um, get airfares pretty cheap if you shop around or get a package. And I've got to, I'm not going to rip on flights in it because they've been pretty good, but you can put them together yourselves. But if you don't want to, keep an eye out on the specials. Jump on a plane and go away somewhere. I'll tell you, a lot of people don't like travelling. Some don't. They just thought, but, you know, you've just got to go out of your comfort zone sometimes, like craft beer, which this probably isn't. Well, it could be to some. At the moment... I can't just jump on a plane and go places. <laughs> but, you know, still waiting to hear back on a couple of jobs. I had to do a 60-second video of me today and send it off to another uh, organisation, which I talk about, you know, personal life stuff here, but I keep it very 
simple. And if you're that fucking interested, well, send me an email. <laughs> I don't care. But, you know, I, I keep it professional and I keep it, you know, pretty uh, discreet, so to speak. And really rhymed. But, um, yeah. I don't know. You just gotta sometimes go with the flow. But I did a 60 second video today. Um, so let's just see how I go and join me on the journey. I'm gonna leave it at that. I've, I've just rambled on with so much rubbish, but I, I have great memories of this beer, gaming, people, workmates. Uh, and geez, you grow as people, don't you? I'm hopefully catching up with a few of my old teammates on October, I think we're aiming at. I've got to jump on the group chat because I muted it. Not that I want to hear from people, it's like, because it just goes off when, and some people work shift work and some don't, it's like, ding, ding it, fucking, so I am because someone's had 12 JDs and, you know what, then that's okay. But, uh, yeah, so that's my biggest probably. My biggest worry would be, well, not worry, but concern would be, do I want to go back into shift work? Because I worked shift work for a long time. A long fucking time. And some of my mates are still working shift work. And uh, do I want to go back into shift work? Is it something you want to avoid? If you ask me the question right now, I'd say, look, shift work doesn't worry me. I don't mind a bit of shift work. Uh, the penalties. Uh, I'm used to being up all hours of the night. Even though I'm a recluse. But yeah... Oh, I think it's just being flexible. Some people just go, nut, nah, I'm not doing it. No. Nah. And I get that. But if you've done it before and you actually enjoy nights, and see, my family situation's changed a lot too. I, I don't have young kids of my own running around, you know, like school, sport. Oh, fucking been there and done that and loved it. Don't get me wrong. The teenager was at soccer. I did the soccer thing as a dad. And, um, you know... The things on the weekends, you've got to travel to the soccer games. And, and I, once you're there, you fucking love it. And, yeah, if he watches these videos, like, I, I was always there cheering and shouting. And, you know, it's been a day, isn't it? I said to him the other night, actually, I went out. Mm, that's a good, that's a good beer. I went out the other night. And like I said, I don't get too personal, but... Um, I knocked on one of the doors here and he was watching some something on YouTube and I said, oh, you know what, I said, I, I, I never had a dad and I want you, I look at you like me, but I'm being the dad that I never had and I know that's pretty deep, but it's true, I've been the dad and I form my own views what a dad's like and what should be. And uh, I still pull him up for dropping an F or, a, 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 you know, an S, or, which it's very, it's very rare. But I do, you know, you, you, and it's hard. And you know what, it costs a lot of money to raise kids. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn back a second. Like, you know, people go, oh, I spent $30 a day, and really? Like, like kids cost a lot fucking more than that. Food, education. Uniforms, clothing, books, excursions. Oh, the list goes on. But, you know, I did it. And, um, yeah, life goes on. Too much rambling. Love each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. Uh, yeah, if you see this, give it a run. I'm happy I had this. It's very clear. It's very well presented. And thanks for sticking around. And for the people who don't, it's okay. Hang up pretty quick. I don't mind. We've got a few new subs too, so we'll live in the dream. <laughs> oh, if I like I always say, if you like me, you like me, if you don't, you don't. But I'd always sit down and have a beer with anyone. I'll see you at the next one. Love is... I've got another big can in there which needs addressing.